Is that good? I think that'll work. Good evening. Good morning, y'all. Well, it's actually like one, but whatever. Evening. Afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. So, if you follow Kylie on YouTube or Instagram, then you probably know that there's been this, as Kylie would call it, super secret possible opportunity that we had. But, as you can tell by the title of this video, didn't work out. We didn't get it. <laughs> Yikes. That's why I like to go with the whole don't tell All right, SD card was full, so got cut off mid-sentence. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah, that's why I don't really like to say anything until after we get it, uh, cause stuff like this. Sometimes you just don't get what you want. Well, whatever. Anyways, um. Bronson's channel is all about like real estate and he basically just wanted to like document us flipping his first house and like other like fun DIY projects that we do with my parents and stuff. And like a few months ago and he got a random Instagram DM. Jump yeah. in whenever you want. But. Yeah, I guess that's a good place to start. So I get this DM, I open it, and it says like, hey Bronson, HGTV producer here. Call me ASAP, like we have this new show that we want to talk to you about. So I was like, what the heck? Seems a little sketchy. Like, yeah, like when you get a DM like that, you're like, yeah, right. Yeah, like, I was like. This is not real. I was like, eh. But I'm also the type of person that goes along with a lot of things. Like I'm always have the optimistic mindset rather than like questioning things. So I was like, you know what? Could be legit. So I looked at her Instagram, looked at her LinkedIn and looked at her website and all three of them like matched up. So I was like, okay, everything seems legit. So I might as well call her. Plus my sister and brother-in-law actually were on HGTV like a year or two ago. And she said the same thing. It's like, it seems really sketchy when people reach out to you, but some person like, like the way that they do it, it just, it seems sketchy cause it's like, it's almost like, it's like a recruiter recruiting you for the show and you're like, this just seems too good to be true. But my sister and brother-in-law were on House Hunters and they said it was like that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a call, just see like what's the worst that can happen. So I call her, everything checks out. We talk for like 15 minutes. And then she's like, okay, it sounds cool. Do you and your girlfriend have time, like a FaceTime, where we can kind of go more in depth on y'all's story and kind of learn more about uh, like what the process has been like and how it's going for y'all, so. Yeah, so we ended up FaceTiming her and she's a casting director. So her job is basically just to find like couples or people who are currently renovating or doing something that will like fit the idea of the show. Um, it's, so it's really funny because like, we basically had to like tell her our story and like what we've been doing to Bronson's house and how it's been going and like where we're at in the process, if there's a lot of renovations to be done. I don't know, it was like terrifying, honestly. Like <laughs> sitting down, I was so scared, but it was literally just like a FaceTime. She was really nice. Yeah, um, it, and the first FaceTime was like super casual, super cool, literally like just getting to know us and yeah, I mean, it, everything about it seemed normal and like super like real. Like it was like, we're gonna do this and they're gonna film it and put on the show. Um, so that was FaceTime number one. Water break. So in the first FaceTime, we basically just tell her about our story, why we're interested in real estate and kind of how we got to this point. So we talk about renovating properties with Kylie's parents and how that kind of sparked my interest in real estate and showed me the potential of it. So she really liked that. And then we talked about how Kylie moved in with me and my four roommates. So she really liked that. Yeah, cause you know, like on all those HGTV shows, there's always gotta be like a storyline about the people. Like, honestly, I don't even know if half those are true, like after going through this process, but it's just really funny because we told her about like me moving in with Bronson and like having to live with like his three other roommates and him and she literally loved that. So we were like, oh, okay, like great. So then our next interview comes around and she like asks us like follow up questions, which is kind of like not twisting the story, but definitely like giving the story like more of an angle. That's when we kind of started to see that 
I mean, obviously reality TV is not all real, but this one we started to see just how like manufactured it all is. Like she started asking me like about the property and I was like, yeah, so I bought it at this, like I really like real estate and I see the potential and I think you can make a ton of money if you're good in real estate. So I'm telling her like, yeah, I thought I bought it at a good price and if I put in this much money, I think it'd be worth this. She's like, wait, I'm gonna stop you right there. TV shows are not about money. It's not about making money, it's about relationships. So if you wanna be on this show, it needs to be about you and Kylie and how she's living with four different boys and she's all fed up with living with y'all and she wants to make it like a nice house and she wants to make it girly and like... It's not untrue. <laughs> <laughs> and just, yeah, it was just funny the way that they made, uh, like they kind of changed they kind of twist everything that we say. So that yeah. was FaceTime number two. FaceTime number three. This is where it gets yeah. juicy, this people. Is where... uh, so FaceTime number three. This is, yeah, this is where it started to get like a little weird. So one, it was basically just getting to know us, hearing our backstory, hearing what we're all about. Number two, it was like kind of the same thing, but kind of twisting things a little bit like, nah, I don't really like that. And number three, it was literally, okay, I'm gonna ask you this question and you're gonna say this answer. So at this point, we were basically just actors. Like, she literally yeah, asked a, a question, bit. she's like, okay, I want you to say this exact response. And I kind of try and tweak it a little bit to make it sound less robotic. And she's like, well, no, 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 redo that. Say it like this. And I was like, oh my gosh. But it was still fun. Like, like we were having fun with it. We were like, like this is, 80% of this is false, but it's like, this is fun, like, it's a- Not 80%. It was still uh, our story, but like, she would make like, more emotion behind it, and she would like, want us to like, say these things like, that, like, stuff about the whoa. renovations were more about like, relationships between like, Bronson right. and my dad, and like, me and his roommates, and stuff like that, and we were like, well, the, yes, but it's like, not that dramatic, yeah, the kind stuff, of. Yeah, the stuff that was false was like, the dramatization of everything. It was like, yeah, everything, they needed to have like a problem and then a solution. So the problem was that Kylie's living with four guys and the solution is Kylie and I wanna renovate this to make it like our forever home. Which, from the beginning, we bought it as an investment. Like, yeah. this was never our forever home, but everything just kinda needs to be twisted to be like this HGTV, like, cute little story. Yeah. So, I mean, but that was no problem with us. We're like, okay, that's fun, like, it's fine, like, we're having a good time, and it's it's like a unique opportunity to get on this show. Yeah, so, from the beginning, we were kinda skeptical about if we would, like, even get this, because there were, like, other couples in the running. They already had two, and then they needed two more. So, like, we were doing pretty good in all the interviews, and we thought, that there was like a pretty good chance that we were gonna get it honestly um but there were like a few things and like one major thing that we were like uh maybe we're not gonna get it because maybe they weren't happy with our answers yeah so she was pitching it to her team and then hgtv and like so there's the thing we learned there's so many different components that go into this like multiple different companies that work together to form an hgtv show and she had to pitch us to all of them and she like, the whole time she's like, everyone loves you, like they love your story, they think everything about it's great. Um, so we were feeling really confident. But then there was one question that they asked us and we were like. Well, hold on. But if you can guess what it is that, that they asked us, that we guessed wrong, that maybe someone else answered better for their liking, drop a comment before we get there because I'm interested to see if they, if they can guess it. Yeah, I bet they can. I think they can So. Too. We kind of knew what was coming because um, the lady messaged Bronson and she was like, hey Bronson, like everything's going really well. Can we actually talk to you without Kylie there? And I was like, oh no, I know what they're, I know what yeah, this is about. Yeah, I was like, as soon as they asked to talk to me alone, I was like, these little freakers. Um, yeah, so I talked to this lady, we talked for a few minutes, and she's like asking all about her relationship, and everything's going really well, and she's like, okay, yeah, I think I think that you guys would be like a great fit for this show. Would you guys wanna get engaged at the end of the show? So you guys make the whole renovation, then at the very end, the grand finale of the show is y'all getting engaged. And I was like, 
<laughs> your girl's getting engaged on TV. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, honestly, um, I appreciate no. you asking, <laughs> and uh, I'm flattered, but I I don't think Kylie would really like to be engaged on TV. Like, she we're, wouldn't. We're not she reality wouldn't. stars. We're not going on The Bachelor. We simply are documenting our renovations on YouTube. Like. I don't even have to ask Kylie. She's not gonna like that. Like, yeah, honestly, uh, just not my forte to get engaged on TV. So, uh, yeah, he said like a hard no to that, and I feel like that kind of like yeah. I mean, made us not get the show. To it be would have been a little different to be engaged on TV if it was like them just filming our lives. Even then it's a little weird, but the fact that we had the other interview where they basically told us everything to say, we were like, okay, this whole show is acting. So like, we've been dating for so long. We dated all throughout college. Like, Kylie deserves like a freaking awesome engagement. Like something really cool and special. Like not something where there's a TV crew saying, okay, you stand here, you stand here, like you say this, like everything just manufactured and like, just, I could just tell by telling them it wouldn't seem real or special or like nothing about it. So I was just like, honestly, no, like we really want to do the show, but if it's at that cost, then we're not gonna like, we're not gonna, but basically I feel like we'd be selling out for the show. I don't know, it just felt weird too. Yeah, but here's the thing. Being on an HGTV show is like, I'm not kidding you, my life dream, okay? Having my own show is like my life dream. Like, if in a, in a perfect world, I would want to be like full-time flippers, basically. Cause yeah, like this We is... just have a passion for like renovating and I have a passion for like design and like DIY stuff. So, I don't know. It's really disappointing that we didn't get it, but like in the grand scheme of things, like we weren't gonna like sacrifice like a special moment that we want to have like just together just to get right. like a TV show. Yeah, but like like we've we've literally talked about this for so long. Like we've said like renovating properties full time for our jobs is like our dream. We'd love to do it. It still is. Like that's what we want to do. And like if we could have a show documenting it, like that'd be amazing. Yeah. When we were renovating, well we're still renovating. When we first started renovating my house, we had a leak on the side of the yard. It was like a moral blow. Like we're making like tons of progress in the house and then all of a sudden the house just starts flooding. So the next day I have to go out and do tons of yard work, dig up all these big bushes, and I'm out there for like six hours all alone. Like Kylie is out doing her own thing, my roommates are out doing stuff. Like I'm literally on the side of the yard on a hot day working alone and like my back is killing me. But the whole time I was thinking, I was like, it's all gonna be worth it. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but at some point like doing all this work, like it's gonna be worth it. Like it was, painful it was miserable to do it, but i was like this is gonna be worth it and then when we got this i was like oh my gosh yeah so like this is something that kylie and i have been saying like for so long for like as long as we've dated like it's all gonna be worth it like the hard work we put in or it's gonna pay off at some point like and here's the thing like we are so grateful that we even had the opportunity to be on an hgtv show like no like a lot of people can't even say that and we're so happy that we got to like experience the process and kind of like realize that a lot more goes into it than what we actually think. But yeah, we just wanted to like update you guys on that because it's been a while. And honestly, we literally just found out like two weeks ago. Like, yeah. So well, yeah, we've we been like processing it. So. We never really officially found out. It was kind of yeah. After after we said that we didn't want to get engaged on a TV show, they kind of just ghosted us. <laughs> and then we were like, I was like, okay. <laughs> I would like reach out periodically. I was like, hey, like any updates? They're like, oh no, not yet. And then like, hey, any updates? And finally, they're like, I think I think we're gonna go in a different direction. I was like, we we're like, yeah, we figured. All right, like that would have been nice to know because like we kind of put our renovations on hold because obviously if we're gonna renovate on TV, we need we can't be renovating. Before Not we, on TV. <laughs> yeah, so it's like we put it on hold, but so honestly, it's kind of like a weight off our shoulders to just to find out one way or the other because now we can finally start renovating again, be productive, get the house done because for like the last few months, we haven't done anything on the house. So guess what? On Tuesday, we're getting floors, baby. Yeah! No more living on concrete. Yep, about time. So we got a lot of exciting renovations coming. So if you haven't subscribed, you better do it now. Did you do it? Do it. Do it.
Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> all right, well, I feel like that's about there it for this can. video. Kind of rambled a little bit, kind of went all over the place, but you got the gist. That's kind of. gist. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. See ya.